Some people take the Word of God very seriously. And today we have an example of a saint, Blaise, who did. Blaise is a third century saint uh, from Antioch area, and the church had spread a great distance from Jerusalem, where Jesus commissioned the apostles. And the course of time, probably through Vox Populi, voice of the people, Blaise was declared a bishop. Those days, the early uh, organization of the church was a lot different than it is now. And when people recommended a person to be a, a pastor or a bishop, they would plead to their present bishop and say, you know, we, we'd like to have Blaise as our leader. Blaise is appointed. And then he had to prove himself as someone who lived the gospel, who trusted in God and would put himself on the line for the gospel. This was during the reign of Licentius, who was the emperor at that time. He was brought to prison and imprisoned for his faith. Before he went to prison, however, a woman brought to him a child who was choking on a, a bone, fish bone. It's probably the first Heimlich maneuver, uh, maneuver that we ever had in history, but that we know of worked. If that, or if not, it was holy intervention. He blessed the child, removed the bone, and the child lived. This was on the feast of the day before his death, which was yesterday, the purification of Mary, in which the church celebrated Mary 40 days from Christmas yesterday, Mary's purification, and a symbol of that purification was bringing candles to the church, bless them, and bring them home. So Blaise is imprisoned, and while he was in prison, this woman brings him candles, both to light up the prison and to give some illumination. So that's the connection between Blaze, the candles, and his feast day. The important thing to remember is that we wear red because he was a martyr. He gave his life. So today, as we are blessed with the candles that symbolically remind us of that dungeon experience of Blaze, we ask the Lord to have Blaze be our intercessor in all illnesses of our throat and every other infirmity in our bodies. That's been a tradition from the fourth century and very popular in the Church of Armenia, very popular throughout the Eastern European nations and of course the Roman Church. So today we honor Blaise as we, I invite you forward in a few moments to have your throats blessed. And the words are through the intercession of Saint Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may you be free of all illness of your throat and every illness through Christ our Lord. And your response is yes, amen. So, in honor of St. Blaise, I invite you forward. The intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Mora, may you be free of all illness, of your throat, and every illness in Christ's soul. Amen. Now, through the intercession of St. Blaise, Bishop and Mora, may you be free of all illness, of your throat, and every illness in Christ's soul. Amen. 